everyone. We're going to go over the sort function in Google Sheets in this video. And this is part of a video series for sports scientists, strength coaches, and sport coaches for how to use simple functions in Google Sheets to make more valuable insights from the information that you have. And the sort function is extremely powerful. And we're going to go through its most basic functionality in this video. And you can check out other videos for how to use it in a more complex way. And what we have here is we have athletes in column A. Let's pretend we have a basketball team. Their positions in column B. And their average points per game for a period of time, let's just say, in column C. And we can use the sort function to, number one, we could sort these players. Uh, let's say that we want them sorted from A to Z. We could do that. So let's go through that first. We type in equals sort, which is the name of the function, open parenthesis, and Google Sheets will help you by telling you what you need. The first thing that you need is a range. And this is essentially what will appear when you're done with this function. So, for example, if I select all of this data here, for example, that all three of these columns will, will appear when I'm done sorting. So let's go through that. Let's pick that as our range, and as our sort column, you can either select a column or you can type in the column number within your range. And then the third argument is, is ascending. Pretty much do you want it to go from A to Z or Z to A? Or if you're using number, if you're sorting by numbers, do you want them to go from lower to higher or higher to lower? So in this instance, we just want to sort by name, A to Z. So we can either type in our sort column as being number one. And we'll do that, or we could select column A. Now, we know that we want to sort by name, and is it ascending? If we say true, that means it'll be sorted from A to Z. And let's close that parenthesis and click enter. And now we just have our list of information sorted from A to Z. One of the issues that we have here is that we have name, position, and points per game in our sort. The way that we would get around that, there are two ways. One is using a filter function, which is, we'll go, I'll go over in other videos, but the easiest way is to just change the range that we're looking within. So our range includes the column headers. If we make our range not include the column headers, which I will just select the range without the columns headers within it, and click enter. Now the name and the position and points per game fields are gone, and we just have a list of our athletes from A to Z. And now the other way to do it is we could select column A instead of doing column 1. But the when we do that, it has to be the same range that our sort range is in. This It has to contain the same number of rows. So if I, for example, just click on column A and click Enter, we're going to get an error. But if I select the same range or the same number of rows in column A right here and click enter, we'll get the same thing that we started with. So if I just go back here and change this to column one, nothing will change. Those are two different ways to sort the data. Now the next thing is what if we don't want to display the position in here? We just want to display the athlete's name and the points. Well, what we can do is we can use other functionalities within the sort to get that done. Right now, our sort range is covers all three of these columns. And if you want to include multiple columns in your sort range that are not side by side, you can do that using, I call them curly brackets. So. Let's start this over from scratch. Let's start over here. To sort just a few columns, we'll go equal sort. And let's get this stuff back up here so you can see what's going on. And for our range, we'll start off with a curly bracket. And we will select the name because this is one of the columns that we want to sort. And we separate the columns by commas within these curly brackets. So curly bracket, one column comma, and now what's another column that we want in this 
that we want to be returned when we sort. We just want the name and the points per game. And let's close off the curly bracket. And now this that is our sort range. So we are sorting by, or we are including both of those columns now, not all three. Comma, and we can also make our sort column one, which in this case is also names. If we chose column two, it should be the points. And we can see how that works in a second. And let's go comma true. The same thing that we did last time. We want it sorted A to Z. And I'll click enter. Now we just have our names and our points per game sorted by name. If we change this column to column two and click enter, now our range, which is the name column and the points per game column, is sorted by points per game. That's pretty cool, right? And if we wanted to just sort it by uh, points the other way, like top to bottom, all we have to do is change this here from is ascending to true to is ascending to false and click enter. And now we have a list of our players sorted by points per game from top to bottom. So I hope that this video was helpful. If you like it or if you enjoyed the content, please give me a like or hit the subscribe button, the bell, and I'd really appreciate that. Let YouTube know that these videos are helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.